Your Excellency, we are most grateful. The Gwang is most grateful for the very strenuous efforts, despite numerous impediments that you made to help us commence a peace process that we believe is yielding fruits in such a very short time. Your Excellency, this peace process can be seen clearly manifested at this occasion by the presence of their Royal Highnesses Nabakem Yona and Nabakem Myanglana, to whom I pay my greatest respects. Our two uncles, it would have been a miracle only four months ago for them to be seated so closely, fraternally, and amiably together. I don't know, uh, Bula Matari, I haven't read the whole history, but at least I know they said Bula Matari was the breaker of rocks. Your Excellency, you have proven that you are indeed the breaker of rocks. I'm happy to be back again in Tamale, this time to launch the government of Ghana, Sino Hydro, Master Project Support Agreement, MPSA, and cut the sword for the construction of the Tamale Interchange the first interchange in the northern sector of our country. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, everybody in Ghana has heard about the arrangements we have made with the Chinese company Sino Hydro Corporation. And I'm glad that work is now about to begin on the construction of roads earmarked under the project. Ghana will witness a dramatic and very welcome change to our infrastructure, especially in the roads sector. Under the deal, Ghana has signed the MPSA with Sino Hydro for the delivery of two billion United States dollars worth of priority infrastructure projects across the country in exchange for the delivery of Ghanaian manufactured aluminum products to Sino Hydro. This has necessitated the establishment of the Ghana Integrated Aluminum Development Corporation, a statutory public corporation to oversee the development of the exploitation of the full value chain of our bauxite resources so we can have a vibrant aluminum industry in Ghana and ensure that we live to up to our end of the barter transaction. This innovative arrangement, the first of its kind on the continent, is not going to add to our country's total debt stock. Indeed, each of the 16 regions is set to benefit from the Sino Hydro arrangement with hospital projects, extension of electricity to rural communities, and construction of court and residential buildings for the judicial service, landfill sites, and industrial parks set to be undertaken. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, I declare the phase one projects of the government of Ghana Sino Hydro Master Project Support Agreement duly launched. May God bless the Chinese and Ghanaian peoples and may God bless us all and our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.